Okay, so this is my second attempt on this. And yes, I said second. Earlier, I just completed chapter two. And when I finished it and saved it, my audio disappeared because I had the wrong audio feature selected. So I made a boo-boo, and aggravatingly, I had to go back through chapter one, redo the whole damn thing, and to get to where I am now, which I'm going to pick up with chapter two and show you guys. As soon as we adjust the volume on this, and okay, here we go. Chapter two. And yes, I adjusted the brightness a little bit so you could see better. Who in God's name tops the two second story window? What are you doing? It's Dennis the Menace! Not really. Fall! 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 Oh man. We hoped we were. For good reason. Three years? And you haven't changed. What is it you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? Yeah, Dennis. I'll give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. You pervert, what are you doing in there? What are you doing with it? Yeah, she said. When? And where? Calm down, calm down. Yesterday morning, he looks like the he's having an epileptic seizure, my god. And she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in touch. She must have been like this away and I come back here. Do you think? No, I doubt it. No, you didn't. You haven't changed since I last saw it. You have it. Hey! Well, it looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on. That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? I don't like Dennis. <clears throat> Not very particularly, at least. We have Dick's room key! Yay! Okay. So in order to use Dick's room key, guess which room we have to go to? That's right! We gotta go to Dick's room! <laughs> Dick's room, Dick's room... Okay. I'm done making fun. Now, what I can't stand is, they won't let you go in these doors. It's like, that just pisses me off, they create doors for decoration. It's like, if it's a door, I should be able to open it, and it shouldn't be locked. My god. Hey, how come Dick's room doesn't have a, uh, label on the door? That's not fair, where am I going? Ah, ha, ha, ah, ha. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. I see books behind me. I have no idea what that means. Hmm. The Book of Entities One. Ah. Entities, quote unquote, have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with their utter ruthlessness and cruelty, and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. Well, it does. At least it should. The possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul. Hence, you know, all the homicidal maniacs were about to fight in this game. And their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and their subordinates, the rooters. Eh, funny word. Rooters, who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. Haha. <laughs> Just when you thought puberty was bad, I mean, my god. Then this. Huh. Entities. Hey, they spell rooters differently in the book. And the other one says edities. What? Oh, not you again. Don't 
don't show them that. What's an entity? I don't know. Who cares? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to Honest to God, you think after old frickin' Nab being hit with a sledgehammer, you thought you were dreaming? Come on. I can tell. She's psychic, and she sees dead people, Dennis. Go away. Just the two of us. It'll be with the old days. No, she won't have sex with you. I might as well help you. There's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house with someone's sister coming back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she traveling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse to a refugee camp in Africa. Good for her. She said she won't be back for at least another six months. So for good reason. To babysit, to walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Great view. You. you can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See? Yeah, your birthday. All this time I still remember. Scarily. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just planning birthday party plans. You can count on me, partner. <laughs> we're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese and we're gonna have birthday cake balloons and, and presents. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's get out of here. You know what's funny? She says, oh, you look upstairs. But you know what? When we go upstairs, guess who's not there? Dennis. He's like, freaking disappeared. Huh, isn't that interesting? What is he doing, and where is he? Probably, like, filling around in Alyssa's room, like, waha. Okay. Now. Ooh, ooh. Getting turned around. Okay. We gotta go through here. And... Oh, hello. Guess what this is. I don't want to stand too close to it. Watch this. That's the bathroom. Look what's in it! Oh my god! You gotta get in here. A dead body lies in here. Ew! It, ugh. It's Lodger Soup! And it's right freaking behind me. We have to give it some lavender water. I don't know why, but we do. It took me for like freaking ever to find out that's what you had to give him. Because I'm thinking... He needed, like, a book, or... I don't know. But, yeah. It's lavender water. You give that to him, and he goes away, and the bathroom stinks, and Alyssa's never gonna use this bathroom, so we're gonna leave. That's all we need in there. Uh, yes. We're gonna go to Nancy's room. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Hold on one second. Yeah, I did forget something. When you're back down here in Dick's room, under the picture, you need... These winding keys. I mean, my God, you think the third time playing this frickin' thing through, I'd like remember that, but I got all excited and everything, and yeah. So hang on a second, and I'll be back up in Nancy's room right now. That was quick, wasn't it? Ah, oh, the joys of movie making. Okay, we have to. Can I? Oh my God, get away! Whoa. Hello, picture. Now, look at the picture. See the clock? Okay. We have to get that time to match this time. All right. We got to put our winding keys in here. And it's left. Left. Right. Right, and another right, which makes three o'clock. <laughs> hey, it works. Look at that. And look what we get to find. We see a door. We need to go in the door. And over here is a book. Portal squares. Basically, portal squares are these symbols that are on the ground, and if you pour hori, yeah, hori, yeah, holy water on them, they will uh, 
kind of change into a time dimension shifting taking thing. Yeah, I'll show you. I don't need to read that to you. Basically, this square, you just one and two. And voila! We're magically teleported into another dimension. Isn't it so cool? We're going to be seeing a lot more of them, too, as the game goes on. Um, okay. There's some lavender water here. Ha-ha! Uh, 